Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cookie Cutters. In today's episode, you guys asked for it. I'm delivering. We are working on the DVSS 12. So it's been about six months that I've worked on this damn car. So much has been happening in life that has not allowed me to work on this damn thing. Uh, the last time that I worked on it, I believe I posted on Instagram on the DVSS 12 page. Uh, I did all of the hot side plumbing and I never finished the cold side. So today we're gonna be finishing up the cold side. Now, there are some things about the cold side that have just been I guess you could say haunting me uh, but it's just something that I have to face and it is this right here welding the vibrant HD clamp to the skunk 2 throttle body now before you guys ask yes it is a Honda part on a Nissan engine now a quick explanation is because I didn't want to run the Q45 90 millimeter throttle body just because it is too damn big this is more than enough for what this engine is going to be putting out now I'm hoping this thing is going to be putting out close to about 700 ish horsepower but that's for later we're going to see how it does once everything is done obviously but for today we're gonna be welding some stuffs all right so first things first we're gonna remove the vibrant the hd clamp come all the way down clamp this back up ah stupid gloves next we are going to remove the V band. Oh, popped off. And this thing should be free. Move about the country. There we go.
before we can weld anything to the throttle body, we have to remove all of the black anodizing from the throttle body itself, because now we're not gonna be able to weld it. So, wire wheel time. Alrighty, so I've spent almost all day welding this damn uh, HD clamp to the throttle body. It's taken the longest just because I have to weld it about an inch at a time. Just because I don't want to melt any of the seals that are in there. It's still cooling down, but check it out. Yeah, see, I still got all that left to do. So this will probably take me about another, I don't know, give or take 30 minutes or so. But yeah, so we're almost done. Hopefully I can finish soon because I'm getting hungry. So, <laughs> all right, let's see what's up. body and the furrow is all welded up let's fit it up and then we'll see where the other uh, elbow lines up so that we can weld the last piece of this to make it all work so all the welding is done and it's cooled down so now the final fit up I'm gonna put the slip this over for the HD clamp and here we go And this is just a mock-up, so I'm not going to really position the, the V-band clamp. It's just going to be, it's just going to be for scientific research purposes only. You know? I have to loosen this thing a little bit. There we go. Bam. It's in. And we can put the pin in. Nice and free. And let's tighten this down just to make sure. the V-band, you know, once it's nice and clamped, it doesn't distort the doesn't distort the HD clamp at all. Right, I'm pretty sure that's on there tight. This can still move. It's all good. All right, so now that this thing is 100% welded everywhere, now this build can finally progress. Alrighty, so it's been a long day of just welding, letting things cool down and all that, but it's all done. I think I'm gonna end the video here. You guys already know, more S12 content is gonna be coming now that this is done. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Blasted, homie.